You're welcome. My name is Mohammed. And uh, all praises are due to God, who created man and woman. And by the institution of marriage, he creates a lovely and merciful bond between two complete strangers. And blessings and salutations upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad and our beloved Prophet Jesus and all the prophets and messengers. And we are very happy that you have you, chosen me to be the one to officiate the, this nikah ceremony. And one of the, one of the benefits of, of marriage, as we call it in, 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 in Arabic, a nikah or a nikah ceremony, one of the benefits is that for a person to protect himself from the evil plot, also to, you know, to produce a healthy generation that can, can benefit the world. And it is one of the practices of the messengers and the prophets before, before the Prophet Muhammad. As God said in the Quran, that, O oh Muhammad, we have sent prophets and messengers before you, and we assign to them uh, wives and descent. So it is one of the uh, practices of the prophets. And a Muslim wedding or nikah ceremony, it's also known as a nikah ceremony, it is one of the most celebrated occasions in Islam because it is a prophetic, uh, a prophetic occasion or prophetic tradition. The Imam or the leader of the mosque who officiates the nikah and the fundamentals of nikah or the fundamentals of Muslim marriage are always the same. You find no differences uh, from country to country, they are always uh, the same. And as I say, the nikah is a religious ceremony which can allow the couple to be legally wed under the Islamic law. There is no other ways, as we know in the Islamic tradition, it's prohibited for the couple to be intimate without marriage. So the marriage legitimizes the relationship between the man and the woman. And as we know, there are some prerequisites or some conditions for the nikah ceremony. And first of all, which is the proposal, which is very important. Also, have we done the proposal? That is the proposal? Yes. And uh, secondly, it is the acceptance, which is also very important. And the dowry, also. Have you agreed about that? The dowry? Okay. It's also uh, the guardian, it's also important, but if there is no guardian, the guardian has to be like your, your brother or your uncle, your father, and if there is no guardian, then you choose one of us to be your guardian, to, you know, in case to refer to him, or to defer to him when there is any problem with, with the husband, okay. with your spouse, okay? And also, the witnesses we have, Islam have to, have to, has to be two witnesses, and we have, we have three witnesses here. Yeah. Uh, let me first ask you, do you accept him as a husband? Yes. Sure? Very sure. Okay. Do you accept her as a wife? Sure? Sure. Okay. Now, can you point someone please to be your husband and guardian? Me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll ask you. I'll ask you the question again. Do you accept her as a wife? Yes. Do you accept him as a husband? Yes. Congratulations. That's it. And I uh, wish you a prosperous life and a happy life. And uh, at least sometimes he has this uh, uh, sense of self grandeur sometimes. So I think you have to deal with that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Alexandra. Wish you all the best.
ezért 